Good morning everybody and welcome to my humble abode once again. Today I would like to do some, well let's start from the beginning. What I would like to do, so I shall show you what I would like to do, is to make one of these. And that is called a Vajra, I think, difficult to say. And for this we need some iron plates, advanced alloy plates, no problem, and carbon plates, no problem. Everything here is really no problem except for this. And this requires two iridium reinforced plates that requires four iridium ores. Now I think I've discussed how to make iridium ores. Rest is straightforward before. And we shall use and here we have a superconductor this is something else that's probably a bit tricky because uh, these are fairly straightforward gold nugget glass fiber cable no problem two diamonds for that and a semiconductor and this requires some more reinforced iridium plates so we need quite a few of these reinforced iridium plates therefore we need quite a few iridium ores now the recipe for this is you can't make it you have to go and um, find it in dungeon chests and other chests so you've got dungeon chests stronghold crossings stronghold corridors and it back to dungeons so we have to find it and i have found one already what i've also done let's go down to the actually it's jet back again here what i did was to build a scanner and I've already scanned this in, but let me show you. This is a something else, the Diamond Horse Armour. Um, let's start from the beginning again. Here we have a disc. This disc here has a recipe for uh, Iridium Ore. It says there, Item Iridium Ore. Now how I got this disc, um, as I'll show you, what I'll do is scan something. In this particular case, I'm going to scan this armour. So that takes a while to scan and let's go while, we're, while that's scanning we'll make another disc and the discs are made by cooking a, a crystal memory card and the crystal memory card is really quite straightforward obsidian and silicon dioxide now the silicon dioxide is made from a thermal centrifuge by putting clay dust in well, that shouldn't be too difficult. The clay dust must be just simply ground clay. So let's go down to the workshop. Probably the best way is this. And go and get some clay. I've got a block there that's invisible and I can't get past it. It's very strange. Now in this chest here is the residue from the um, Aubrey Farms. And one of the things that you get is clay. And here you can see I've also got this pretty empty chest that's filling up quite nicely now from the Aubrey and if you hear listen carefully you could just hear some mobs below at the spawners now was I clay all right so first of all we have to grind the clay um, let's go back to the recipe so we've got clay and we need to find the recipe for this so not the recipe for this we need to find its usages so we've got one facade crafting shapeless crafting is probably shapeless crafting nope what else have we got in here smelting macerating okay so we can macerate it we can extract it that gives us four clays but we want clay dust don't we we can use mana infusion that produces clay again. Use a stag mill that will produce clay, but we want clay that's not clay. So let's go to clay here and see how we can, what we could have got for uses for this. So obviously shape crafting, smelting. We get CF powder, compressing. Well. I'm pretty sure I did it another way before. Let's go back over here. I think thermal centrifuge. I think I put some cl oh yes. No, that was to extract it. So how did I get the recipe for this? So I can macerate oh I can only macerate it. Fair enough. Let's go and do that then. Here's the macerator. Put this in. Doesn't take too long. Now, 
what else do we need for this disc let's go back here and have a look at the recipes for this again it's just silicon dioxide so we need we, all we need for that is to put it through the thermal, thermal centrifuge and four clays produce one silicon dioxide and we need five five silicon dioxide so we need 20 clays how many have we got 10 i think this produces four per is it four two actually while those are still making let's put these into the central fuse here because it's going to take a while for those to, to work anyway as you see it has to first of all heat up and then after it's heated up it has to start to do its work so come back to the meter rate actually let's go and do some more while we're thinking about it let's take another half a stack of clay here because i'm sure i'll need more of these discs Yeah, right, we've got the eight now, so we can put these into here. All right, this is going to take a reasonable while, I think. But once it's heated up, it's fine. It does its the recipe actually processes reasonably quickly. It takes a while to heat up. So we need five of these, don't we? So that shouldn't take too long. And we need some obsidian powder. Well, obsidian powder comes from various sources, and one of the sources is uh, as a as a mob dropping, and I should have some in this chest here. So we need four. four. Okay. So that's still working away. We don't need. Actually, we could do this because it's only the only reason we're using it is to make this uh, silicon dioxide, isn't it? So we've got three now. In fact, I could put this iridium ore back. Let's just do that. This belongs in. Um, well, I think the only place I've got it is. Have I put any in here? is in the uh, industrial craft 2 chest which is here so we need a lot of this stuff ah oh, yes I know what I need to do let's go up to the farm oh, now that's working nicely got some more of these let's put those into the but I'm going to change the farm anyway I'd like the farm to be a to farm some more uh, rubber which is a manual farm that's what I've come to see here. It's not just the fertilizer, but we have plenty of that. Let's just take that while we're here. As I've come to look at how well this is doing. So now I've got 835 millibuckets of UU matter, and we need 128 to make an, an ore. And what else I've done is I've um, i have been making some advanced solar panels. These advanced solar panels work at both day and night. And for some eye, I think I have to add something in here because it's only producing eight EU per tick, and it can produce 32. And I've not seen it more than 32, but it's working quite nicely, producing electricity for the EU, for the EU matter, which is actually also interesting because it's run out of sla um, slag. That's interesting. But the Ignisian Strude is working very hard. Uh, that's why they're filling up. Okay. Just leave that to work away. And come back to the. Uh, oh. What I should do is to put this stuff away as well. Mm -hmm. Let's go back. I can't do that that way. Central loader. Let's put all of this away here. I still have another one, don't I? On the other. Right. And 
put it in the seats with me either. Down back to the workshop. How are we doing here? So we've got nine of these now, and let's take the rest out of the macerator. Quite a few, 52. While it's hot, we might as well make most of it. Right, so, so now we can make this uh, this disc or And all we have to do with that disc is then cook it in the furnace. It's cooking some rubber before. So we have now an empty crystal memory disc. So let's go up and use that disc. As you can see, the Aubrey farm is producing a lot, these two Aubrey farms producing a lot more Aubreys now. So, so sure enough, we have now scanned this. What we can do then is we can go to the pattern storage and we can put this empty disk in here. And we want to go to next pattern. X import from crystal export to crystal next pattern what's happened to this ah okay so we can then save this here so now it should be in here ah now we've got two patterns you see the second pattern is here it's just a diamond armor suit and then we can it's crystal so we can then export to crystal and sure enough we have now a diamond a horse armor and an iridium ore this takes 510 buckets i guess that's trust that's my milli buckets well maybe that's buckets then it'd be a very hard thing to make so anyway let's put these two back under the shelf here oops wrong one let's take that again try number three i didn't know i didn't replace it okay so when we've done that, we can actually then use Replicator to reproduce. And of course, you can get the from the, from the horse arm also comes back. And all I was doing was making a double, a second, a backup copy, if you like, of the uh, of the pattern in case we need to produce more replicators. Let's go and have a look how we're doing here. As you see, the quarry is working away. I've been doing some more micromanagement on the quarry. And we wanted the stuff from the macerator here. And we shall put that into. It's still working very good. That should produce plenty of silicon dioxide. So I need that to be divisible by four. I think that. Yes, that'll work 13. Okay. Right, so let's make let's make some more um let's make some more iridium crust plates. So we shall simply take this this bucket away from here. Tank, sorry, not a bucket. Walk into here. Put the put the tank into here, and sure enough, we should reproduce them. Look, it's all you have to do: click, single run, repeat run. So there we go. How much have we got in here now? Oh, okay, good. So you should get about four, which may be enough to make the first plate. I was going to put this back, wasn't I? Walking down this passageway here it takes a few seconds. Maybe we should put an travel anchor somewhere near 
She could have stood like this. Maybe what I should do is to make a second uh, recycler in order to get more scrap. I'm surprised we ran out actually. I didn't expect to see that at all. All right, let's actually it's on this floor, isn't it? Probably faster to go this way and down and up. So how many have we got now? One. That means we've got three in total. We should wait for this one to finish. Presumably that has to get you has to get up to hundred percent. We have probably enough, maybe five iridium ores. We need the fourth, then we can work. I think it's four we need. Let's have a quick look while we're, while we're waiting for this. Ah, reinforced plates. Actually, yes, we need four for one reinforced plate. The advanced alloy and the diamond is no big problem. So we do need a lot of EU matter to be able to make this. So that's two. Right, okay. So let's make the first reinforced plate. Go, oh, should have gone over here and got the, the other two. Right, so we need alloy and diamonds. Well, diamonds have got a few extra diamonds in here. Oh, only one in this case. And in here I should have some, do I have any there? No, do I don't have any in here? I'm looking for the advanced alloy, no. But I should have some in here. Why can't I see this? I haven't used it up for certain. I have doing some, yeah, even some more silicon dyes. Where is it now? Most strange. Sort it, see if I can see it better. No. But anyway, I've got six glass fibre cables, that's good. And I've got some more uh, energyrium dust. That's for these crystals. That's very odd. I'll put it in here. Ah, here it is. I knew I had plenty. Right, here we go. So let's make our first reinforce. That's just an iron plate on one. It's this one. We need two. So we actually need eight of these ores. So let's put the recipe up there. One diamond. Four iridium ores and four advanced alloys. And we have a plate. And for this recipe, I think we need four in total, do we? No, no, it's one there and one there, that's easy. Oh, but this one requires one as well. How many does this require? Two. That produces three of these. And we need six, so we need another, oh, eight. So we need another 12 in total. It's going to be quite a job to get those. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And until next time, bye for now.